want you to hurry up now, cause I can't wait much longer, I know I got to be right now, cause I can't get much stronger, man I've been waiting all night now, that's how long I've been on ya, I need you right Let's now, let's get lost tonight, you could be my black cake moss tonight, play secretary on the ball tonight, and you don't give a fuck what they all say right, Austin awesome. and Christian and Christian Dior, damn they don't make them like this anymore, Cause right now that has forsaken us You should be honored by my lateness That I would even show up to this fake shit So go ahead, go nuts, go ape shit Especially in my pastel on my fake shit Act like you can't tell who made this New gospel, homie, take six and take this Haters That, 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 that don't kill me Can only make me stronger I need you to hurry up now Cause I can't wait much longer I know I got to be right now Cause I can't get much stronger Man, I've been waiting all night now That's how long I've been This drink got me saying a lot, but I know that God put you in front of me. So how the hell could you front on me? It's a thousand years, it's only one of me. I'm tripping, I'm caught up in a moment, right? This is Louis Vuitton Dine Night. So we gon' do everything to kind like. Heard they do anything for a crime dike. Well, I'll do anything for a blind dike. And she'll do anything for the limelight. And we'll do anything when the time's right. Oh, uh, baby, you're making it. Nah, 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 that, that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. I need you right now. now, now. I need you right now. Right now. You know how long I've been on ya. Since Grace was on Apollonia. Since OJ had isotoners. Don't act like I never told ya. Don't act like I told ya. I love that picture. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the epic cringe stream, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment and super chat if you're enjoying, okay? We're going to be looking at some Mondo cringe today that's going to make you XD. <coughs> All right, we're done with that. Hi, everybody. Uh, we got some very... Yesterday was old friends. Today is new friends. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully they'll be friendly. We don't know. They might be fighting. They might be fighting. Uh, the, 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 the catch today might be angry. <laughs> the sea was angry that day, my friends. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, we're going to be looking at some new stuff. We got a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, I want to... I want to make sure I remember... Uh, to take a look at there's a reddit that i very much want to investigate a little bit i will uh make sure to 
look for that. Let me see here. What the fuck is this Reddit called again? Uh, sorry, I'm like doing real time. Uh, it's like Saturn something, I think. Saturn. Saturn, what is what am I looking for? Oh, there it is. Okay, all right, good. We I found it. I got a I got a Reddit I would like to share with you. Uh, the only thing I know about it is it's about Saturn. It's a death cult or something. Uh, and there was a guy the other day who uh, I I looked. You know, I just saw the I looked at the Reddit really quick. I saw one post that was kind of funny, and then I looked at the guy who posted it, and he runs a different subreddit. Uh, where guys post pictures of themselves shoving cactuses up their ass. Or at least I say, guys do. He did. I saw a picture of him uh, with a cactus up his ass. Uh, and I'm assuming maybe some other people uh, also post there. But yeah, that's uh, that's something for later, maybe. Uh, we're gonna get into things here. How you guys doing? Imagine running a death cult. Yeah, there's Saturn stuff. This one seems to be related to the to cubes. I guess they think cubes are, are evil. I don't know. We'll, we'll get into it. I'm sure it's going to be ri riveting, fascinating stuff. <laughs> We're going to get started with... Uh... You know what? This is interesting to me. This was this was one somebody suggested, uh, you know, uh, a few streams ago. And, uh, yeah, you know, he's got like... He does, none of his videos have more than 10,000 views, so I don't know how famous... Uh, how internet famous he is, uh, but this is a fellow, a fucking stream deck fell over, Jesus Christ, uh, this is a fellow, human reviews pet food, and, uh, this is a guy who, I guess, eats pet food, and he reviews it, and he tells it like it is, uh, I started watching this one a little bit, because he's in a suit and has a Pikachu and a wine glass, uh, cause it's, I guess it's cause it's porterhouse steak flavor, you know, it's extra fancy. He's got to put on a show, uh, so that's fair. Uh, let's watch. Welcome back to Human Reviews Pet Food. Um, today I'm here in, uh, this fancy restaurant known as My Kitchen, uh, and the waiter... So post some oo-woos and some o-woos in chat. This is an epic stream for the win. Here is our favorite Pikachu ketchup. Um, so today it's a little bit fancy. We're in this fine restaurant here. Uh, this is what you have in fine restaurants. And our waiter's reveal today we have a delicious steak. Yes, today we shall be eating Cesar Classic Porterhouse Steak Flavor in oh, meaty juices. Meaty juices, that's, that's the best ketchup. part. Sorry. This fucking okay. he can you can just sit here and block the camera. That's cool. All right, bro. He's like right Tell in your face. Yeah, just put him there. That's good. Whoa, stay stay back. I'm giving him bossing you around. I'm sorry, ketchup. All right, ketchup. Ooh, Is that the name of his Pikachu. He named his Pikachu plushy. Uh, all right, we're off to a start here. Ooh. Look at this stick, the resistance. Oh hell yeah, dude! Stop pretending to speak French. Look at that. Oh, God. I mean, I guess All if it's right. pet food. This uh, it looks like baby food. This is the finest quality steak you will ever know. Look oh, at I believe that. it. Top ingredient today. I do love, I mean, this isn't a necessary service in my opinion, because as far as I'm concerned, like, pet food is just a scam. I mean, like, you know, kibble or whatever, that's fine. But, like, all of this shit, oh, it's Caesar steak flavor. Like, yeah, I don't know, bitch, really? Because no human is supposed to eat this shit. So, like, is it Caesar steak? Is, is, is it is it porterhouse steak? You know? Is it, like, a fancy fucking dinner? Is it a, it, it, are you sure? Because obviously it's not going to be good, right? It's not like it's supposed to be good for people. But the question is, does any of this stuff even taste any different than, than like... Like, they sell you porterhouse steak flavor fucking dog food, and it's like, I mean, does it, I don't know, what, is that any different from, like, regular beef dog food? Probably not, and yet they're selling it to you. It's, it's, it's just a, it's just meant to con people, 
who are like they have enough money that they're willing to buy little fufu uh, a a se- uh, porterhouse steak is let's see sufficient water for processing then beef byproducts animal liver meat byproducts and then beef haha so it's steak um well uh, you know at the end of the list yeah there is some steak in there maybe i think what's going on here is that there's like 10 people in the world i would rather have the pet food company lie to me or like not lie to me and just be like hey this is you know liver beef liver mix or whatever you know instead of being like oh yeah it's porterhouse steak and then it's like 95 percent livers and eyelids really like um really like their uh livers uh really like to eat livers and everyone else is like dude i'll just have you know like uh chicken breasts and steaks and cutlets so and the so question is way too many does he do this because he likes pet food already like and cats and dogs people like me so so if... like is he just maybe a fan of pet food already and he just eats it and that's just fine is or is he just doing it for the you know just doing it for the vine i can't really tell let's begin well we'll have to see once he once he's once he's eaten once he digs in maybe he'll vomit it'll be great hmm I would say it's not well done. Could be a bit rare. Definitely more on the rare side of the steak. Me- uh, this like I mean, you know, the funny thing is he serves us he serves it up, right? And it's just this gelatinous like disc, like like puck of gelatinous food and and like you, you know, you know, that doesn't look very appetizing because we know it's pet food, but if he just told us that this was, like, a famous Swedish, like, specialty dish, you know, like, like oh, yeah, it's a it's a delicacy in Sweden. They fucking love the, the harlefisk, and it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's congealed meat, meat liver, uh, fatty, uh, grease, uh, jello. And and it's like yeah I know it sounds weird but it's a great it's great like they could easily pass this off, I mean, I I don't know I mean I guess pet food is supposed to give you worms I, that's the thing, you you eat pet food and it like it, it gives you fucking tapeworms I don't know why we're giving dogs tapeworms on purpose then, but I mean I guess they can handle it or something I I don't know I I I barely know how how my own body works let alone how a dog works but uh you know uh. I yeah I don't know you could easily pass this off to someone and just be like oh no 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 no, no they love this in Laos no oh, you got to try it don't be racist look at that uh, where were we it was like two thirty five I think medium rare you know I guess that kind of looks like hmm. a steak it's a bit squishier than a steak typically is but actually when you get all dressed up for it. This isn't too bad. Oh my god. This is this is a steak. This is the future that Joe Biden wants. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Mm, it's kinda like someone took a steak and removed all the texture. Huh. And I'm trying to get it so you can actually see my lovely steak here. Alright. No, you don't steak. have to see my face, who cares? Um yeah, it's like someone took a steak, removed all of the texture, Is and kind of coated it in this little um, fatty glaze. Fatty glaze. Yeah, that's like the glue that holds it all together. Now, I mean, I look at it, and it looks like one of those, like, you know, like a, a Christmas dinner in a can type of thing. Where, uh, you know, it has it has the all the turkey and all the fixins, and it's all just in this sloppy mess. That's what it looks like, because there's, like, peas in there and, and it's some sort of gravy. But the way he's eating it, it, it kind of does look more akin to a steak. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> somewhat. What? He, he seems to be liking it. It's too bad. It's like steak pudding, I suppose. Steak pudding. Oh, my. I didn't know steak pudding was something people wanted. Why do you even need the knife? Like, just cut... You can just use the edge of the fork, really. But... 
I mean, it yeah. does kind of look like a steak on the inside. I guess this is some sort of, like, steak product that... Huh. Well, and now I'm curious. Okay, so that's the steak one, right? He did this five years ago, and then two years ago, he came back all of a sudden. Let's see his final video ever. Hi, welcome back to Human Reviews Pet Food. Uh, today, your co-host here is Bob Dole. Uh, please, oh. Bob, can you say something for the camera? What is wrong with him? He looks like... Wait, can you even... It's like a... It's like a it's like a pineapple but there's like these giant eyes and there's just random shit stuck to him but is that supposed to be like a little hand and there's like a there's like an usopp nose yeah these are like little hands i guess these are feet that's terrifying did you make this yourself oh geez okay cool anyways um today we'll be doing a review of Pet guard, savory seafood. Yeah, I don't know if this guy has a dog or cat. We've yet to see one. Dinner. And do we have to do the magic where we pretend to focus the camera? All right, good enough. Not working. Um, and since it's a savory seafood dinner, we're also going to be comparing it to a savory seafood dinner uh, intended for human consumption. I oh, he didn't do that um, with the farmhouse steak. Is uh, Goya Premium Jumbo Squid Pieces. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, savory seafood dinner. I mean, that's... I guess. I, I suppose. It, it seems like a very broad title. Savory seafood dinner. I mean, you you know, that could that could be anything from this to, like... I, I don't know. I mean, a, tu a tuna melt. I, yeah. Pretty broad All spectrum. Right. So let's get into this. I don't know if maybe if we watch his Ooh. first video, he'll so explain like whether or not he actually bit of a, likes a this stuff. Oh god! I believe that's the cat food term for this. I think that's just a term. And what? Well, let's open up belly. Tried fucking duck pate or something one time, and it was just it was just awful. Yeah, cool. Oh, See, both comes in a can. Uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. It's always a bad sign when you get a worse reaction to the, um, yeah, to the, the human food. Yeah, I would say so. If he winds up liking the fucking pet food more than the human squid... Well, why did he get... Like, savory seafood dinner, I was not thinking some kind of weird pickled squid shit. I was thinking, like, I don't know, f fucking some steamed tilapia with lemon or something, you know? But but he, he seems to have, like, deliberately picked something disgusting <laughs> to compare the pet food to. Which I guess is, like, handicapping the pet food so it looks a little better, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if we compare this to a real meal, you know, yeah, but if you compare this to, like, some fucking dollar store clams, it's not looking too bad. Gas like station sushi. sushi! But uh, it just kind of looks like a soupy red sauce. Not quite what, what I was expecting. Alright, so we'll save that for a little bit later and dig right into this. Alright, so this stuff. I'll take a bite. <sighs> Big ups, Liquid mm. Fuso. Okay, he doesn't look very happy. So. This guy looks like an indie game developer. It's not a very pleasant texture or taste. Mm. Huh. Well, that's kind of the big two. It's got like, okay, it's not, ooh, it's not gritty at least yet. Oh, that's, um, that's a plus, I guess. It's kind of, it's really bitter. Are they usually grit? Wait, it's bitter fish? Bitter fish? What? Oh, God, what are they feeding the cats? And... I think the French have these things. Maybe that's where they got the word pate. I'm not sure. They're these like French meats that you can like spread. It's kind of similar. Bro. Overall, but without good taste. <laughs> kind of, but just no taste good. No good yeah, taste so good. This one really, it's not a very good intro taste or a very good aftertaste. There's like multiple la layers of hitting you. Um. And it's not creamy or like, you know, you can imagine like maybe if it was like kind of poofy, if it had a really nice texture, that make it a little bit better. But it's kind of just like one step short 
of being like gritty. So it's it's like gritty fish bitter peanut buttery like paste pate shit. This is the worst. Just imagine all of that in your head. It's like it's like if you had cornmeal and you didn't He's you just he just keeps eating it. Up until it's just like, I can't get over the fact that the the fish is bitter. I don't know how you do that. Almost lumpy. I don't know. Hmm. All right. So, savory seafood dinner. Got a dollar so from Kate stuff. with a horrified emoji. Thank you. It I agree. Is made out of salmon, mackerel, water sufficient for processing, ocean fish. Ooh. Ooh. Ocean, ocean fish. Rice flour, chicken liver, shrimp, brewer's dragon. Ocean. I love that ocean fish. We have to go through this list again. So this is a seafood dinner, and one of the lists, one of the things on the list of ingredients is, you know, just fish. Yeah, just ocean fish, you know, whatever. They're out there, you know. You know, like 70 fucking percent of the world or whatever, like however much of the world is just ocean. Probably a lot more than that. It's like 90% of the fucking planet. Yeah, there it's one of those. One of those ones. It's out there. Uh, let's see. So this stuff is made out of salmon, mackerel. Okay. Water sufficient for processing. Ocean fish. Why does salmon and mackerel get a special... That makes me very suspicious of whatever ocean fish we're getting here. Are these like BP oil spill fish? Like... Ooh. ooh. From ocean. Rice flour, chicken liver, shrimp, brewer's dried yeast, guar Why is there chicken liver in here? Um, potassium chloride. Okay, then I think it's mostly like chemicals. Is that potassium chloride like a poison or something? Um, so, I mean, there's fish in it. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's mercury. I you should probably not be eating this. I've before where like sometimes you buy fish. And it's mislabeled. Five bucks from Kate says he's a cat boy. I guess he truly is. Well, he's a dog boy, too, because he was also eating the dog food. I mean, I still have not seen a cat or a dog uh, outside of the ones on the tin for the food, so I, I don't know. Uh, he see, Somebody said earlier in the chat he looks like he's in some kind of a rec room. But Yeah, I mean, what is that, actually? It looks like the room behind him has, like, partitioned off, like, workspaces, and it's got, like... It's got, like, school library chairs or something. Like, what is this? Is this, like, the... Is this, like, the Hello Work Center where you get a fucking job? Where where are you, dude? What, what is this location you're in? These guys are at least trying to do something. It's free of meat byproducts. No soy. No wheat. No gluten. No corn. No artificial preservatives. Wait, 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 wait. No soy. Nobody's trying to do something. It's... Free of meat byproducts. Yo, but there's chicken liver and fish. Fish is meat. No soy, no wheat, no gluten. What? There's no soy? While well, looking at him, I would have been. Yeah, that's that's an obvious joke. Gluten, no joke. corn, no artificial preservatives, no flavoring and colors, no sweeteners and sugars. So what's making it bitter? Okay, that's the question. Cause I he, maybe he just doesn't. Maybe he's like brutal, brutal moose. He just doesn't have the food words. He doesn't have the food words. And he, he just, uh, you know, he's saying bitter, but maybe he means, like, something else. I don't know. I can't imagine fish being bitter. I am very hu very much hung up on this as a part of the, the, the narrative here. On the last two, I might have preferred to have a few sweeteners By and products? Is that a different thing? Okay, okay fine. I, do, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if it's from a fucking chicken, it's the byproduct of a chicken. <laughs> but... All right, I guess that's fair. <laughs> mm. Ooh, they do tell you how Sour. much ash is in it. There's 2.8% of the maximum amount of ash in it. Oh yeah, you just need I need to make it. Right. I'm going to make the fucking cat food. That's yeah. Look, I mean, if you want to donate for me to eat the cat food, you can, but I'm not it, like I love the concept the chat member was like, "Well, now you have to make it, Claw." Yeah, I'm just going to make the cat food seafood pate. It's good. it's yeah, I'll follow the, the list of ingredients that he just read out, and I'll, you know, I'll approximate it, it'll be fine. Why the heck do these things have ash? Can't be worse than the fucking All right, some party I'm cheese. I'm gonna do some research on, like, what goes into making pet food and what pet nutrition is actually like. But for now, 
But you might have wanted to do research on whether or not this would kill you, because, I mean, let alone possible mercury, uh, uh, you know, uh, overdosing or whatever, I, I don't know. This is a fish-related thing, people in chat are freaking out about mercury. I love the fucking people that are, like, such fucking psychos. That, like, you tell them, oh yeah, I had a I had a tuna sandwich the other day, and they're like, bro, the mercury poisoning! Like, holy fuck. Get off of Reddit. But, uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, maybe that is a case. That, that might be a thing, because this is pet food, the levels might be different. Leaving that aside, there is just the whole thing about, like, you, apparently you get, like, tapeworms and shit from eating pet food. So I don't know if he even knows that. I mean, surely somebody has to have told him that in the comments, and I'm sure he just says, I don't care, or something. I want to see his... This is his last video that he's posted so far. I hope he comes back, because he, he disappeared for a bit and then posted this, but then he hasn't posted anything for two years. Uh, but I, I I would like to see the first one that he posted after this. So We're doing it blind. I'll probably skip ahead at some point, but... Um, so, as you keep going... Actually, this stuff is its not getting worse. <laughs> you know, the texture and flavor are bad, and they somehow made fish bitter. But, yeah, you know, it's not getting worse, necessarily. He's really it's eating the whole thing. its t He's tolerating it. So-called tolerant left. Like, it's kind of like a really bad hummus with a sour aftertaste. Thank you for the five bucks. Ichi ghosted. I will look into that person at some point. Sounds interesting. Like, someone brought the worst possible hummus to the party. <laughs> you know, like, put one pita chip into it, and you're like, done. Yeah, it sounds like mm. a hummus. Mm. That's a good way of describing it. From Another thing I noticed about this can is it says it's 100% nutritionally complete cat food for all life stages. Does that it's include kind of human stages? Because... I've got serving suggestions, you know, for kittens, for adults, for seniors. So you're basically, it's basically like if you ate baby food for your entire life. Or senior food for your, well, senior food. Well, it's like if you were a grown-up eating cat food your entire life. Uh, I gotta well, see him there's... eat the fucking, the fucking human food. The, the, the Goya seafood, what is it, like squid, pickled squid or something? Start out, it's human food stuff. Jumbo squid pieces. Jumbo so squid. So people voluntarily eat this. Uh huh. So you would expect it would have some redeeming quality. Look, you can see there's like a piece of a squid there. Oh uh, boy. Why they have cat food like that? He really just went for the worst, most disgusting fucking cat, like human food that he could to make the cat food better. I guess that's, you know, I guess that's a good that's a good gimmick for your your review channel. It's like you know I'm not being totally unfair here. I'm gonna review the cat food. But, you know, I want to compare it to something good, so we're going to make, uh, you know, King Cobra's fucking crab nachos, you know. It's a nice savory seafood meal. Okay, this stuff's pretty good. Wow. Okay. Well, that's it's, not, it's, not, it's not much of a comparison. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I was really hoping he was like, he has such a stomach for the cat food now, but no. Uh, let's try this. This is his first video ever. I guess this is his more, most popular video. Uh, this one right here, but this one's short. Let's check this one out. Hi, I'm here to do some, uh... He does! He has a cat! There's a cat in the picture! There is a cat, so... Presumably this pet food is going to... Like a good, uh, well, the cat food is. There, there's also dog food that he eats, but, I mean, I guess the dog's gonna eat... You know, he, he might have a dog, too. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, but, but, yeah, he does have a cat, so he isn't just some weirdo who just eats pet food on his own. Which, where's the, does he have a video about him, like, him eating kibble? Because that's what I want to see, is just, no, because this is all, like, the wet cat food, the fancy feasts and whatnot. Where's, like, we need one where he just fucking eats some kibble with milk, like cereal. That's the, that's the real shit. Hi, I'm here to do some, uh, pet food reviews. And here we've got, uh, Merlin, the cat in the background. I'm at home. Merlin. And this is, uh... Neutro soft loaf cod recipe. Look at that neutro. Uh, yeah. Oh, soft. Cod. Okay. It looks like it says loaf. Soft loaf. Oh. oh, this is good audio. Let's see what this is. Uh, this has been open. It's been refrigerated, so might might have to do a comparison at room temperature. We'll see. Did his wait? It's been refrigerated, so 
Did his, did he already, okay, I can only hope that he scooped some out. It looks like, yeah, it looks like he probably served some out for either his cat or maybe himself. I'm not sure. I really, do, I can't say. But uh, the, the, the more horrifying idea is he just eats from the same container that the cat eats from. Might, might have to do a also comparison possible. room temperature, we'll see. Smells. Somebody says Neutro is a good brand, but, like, how do you know, though? I mean, like, maybe your cat likes it, right? But, like, you haven't tried it, you know? This is an interesting thought experiment, because now, I mean, it, now it's, like, forbidden knowledge. Now I'm looking at this and I'm just like, yeah, no, you. I mean, you're right. Like, you know, uh, you gotta review the cat food. You gotta try it out for yourself to know it's, if it's good enough for, for Merlin, you know? You're gonna get them the porterhouse steak. I'm not gonna fucking just listen to them and believe it. I gotta know what it tastes like and make sure it doesn't taste the same. Make sure they're not pulling some shit like the pizza places do where they go like, oh yeah, here's Brooklyn pepperoni and here's normal pepperoni and they're the, they're the, they're the fucking same. You know, you don't want that for your cat, right? So like you have to go and you have to specifically, you get two different cat foods and you're like, is this one? Nope, nope, this one's the fucking same. It's not even chicken. This is the tuna one again. They just lied to us all. Because we don't know. We just don't know. I guess they'd get sued. I, I guess they would get sued if they lied to people. But, like, again, who's checking other than this guy, right? You know? Body. Like, is the cat gonna is the cat gonna come to you and be like, hey, I think the turkey thing that you got me tastes a little bit like lobster, actually? Like, I don't think so. They're getting, they've been getting away with this for years. Is it a little bit grainier than I expected? Oh. Why is it grainy? Mm. <laughs> like, what's making it grainy? What's making the fish, fishy cat food grainy? Oh god. It's, uh, that that texture, yeah. This guy's got to be on like a lot of weed right now. He must have he must have injected a lot of weed uh, a lot of weed uh, into his bloodstream because he he seems very giggly. I can't I can't imagine anybody. Can't imagine anybody who's, like, completely sober deciding, yeah, I'm gonna eat some fucking cat food. Especially when they don't already have a YouTube channel. Yeah, he's, yeah. Lo he's loving it. <laughs> so, this is my first, um, significant, um, cat food eating. Significant. So he has dabbled. He's always been I've curious. I've had a couple of the little pebbles before. Oh. So he has tried the kibble. Tastes a little bit like that, ground up. Mushy. I need to find a guy who's eating like like dog biscuits, just like like their cookies, just shoving fucking bone biscuits down his throat. Mm, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Maybe other pet food brands make it better. I don't know. So he really did just decide to do this on a lark one day for for like no reason. All right, well, this is his most popular video. Let's uh, let's let's end on this one here. Hello. Hey. Instant camera quality upgrade. He really got serious with this one, but then it just didn't last. It just didn't I'm last. here for another cat food review. Um, today we do not have any cats. Um, it's none here at this house, but I'm here with Jeju, the uh, black pig. Jeju. Let's see here. Cool. Um, so today we will be reviewing has no cats Fancy currently. Feast Delights with Cheddar. Grilled tuna and cheddar cheese feast in gravy. It's gourmet cat. See, now, like, this is, again, this is personal offense territory. I love me some cheesy tuna melt goodness. And you're going to tell me that they're putting cheesy tuna melt goodness in this can. There's cheddar. There's, like, there's like tuna and cheddar. In gravy? Why is there cheddar? Wait, why is there cheddar cheese if there's gravy? I get that it's for a fucking cat, but, like... Well, like, why would they even think to do that? Ah, food. weird. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, fancy feasts. Ooh, la -dee -da. I'm ready for a pretty fancy feast. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Yeah. That's what it's going to be like. I know he likes mushrooms. Uh, I don't know if they make mushroom cat food. Well, he's a pig, <laughs> so. We'll see. Next time, maybe. Alright, so open this guy up. That's a pop top. Ooh, this one's kind of soupy, too. Maybe oh, I should have brought a spoon. Soupy, nice. I got a fork. Okay, how is this soupy tuna? Like, you would assume... I mean, okay, I've never, you know, had pets. I don't know what these things are like, but I would assume 
you know, it's a can of tuna related thing. Like, I would assume this is more or less just a can of tuna. Like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that would be, I feel like it's not, I, I, it would probably be difficult to fuck up tuna is what I'm saying. And this looks like just flaky tuna, mostly. Okay, oh, I don't want to spill this all oh, over Jesus. my laptop. That would oh. be a problem. But it kind of I mean, looks like, for a cat. Oh, like tofu God. with corn in it. Oh, but that's Let's cheddar. Go. There's just chunks of cheddar oh. in this great tuna. This is actually tuna. pretty good. He likes it! Oh, you shit! Um, first bite tastes pretty good. After a, a little bit bitter... Bitter? What? Okay, he just doesn't know the food words. He doesn't know the food words, or maybe pet food is just really fucked up, because how is it? How is tuna and gravy and cheese bitter, fella? Fella, please. Well, there's like tofu and gravy. Two bucks. Uh, ten bucks from Wine Glass Pikachu. He says, good to see you again, Claw. Thank thank you. Good to see you in a, in a stream where... In a segment where we just looked at a guy with a Pikachu figure and a wine glass eating porterhouse steak dog food. Uh, so that's very timely. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, this man likes this food. Hmm. There's a fair amount in here. Yum, yum, yum. Um, Try and eat it all. He's really... Why, though? But why, though? Like... A... Yeah. This is one of those fucking people whose parents were like, they would break out the belt if he ever wasted a fucking gra kernel of corn. So he's like, no, I gotta eat it all. I gotta clean the thing. It's, 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 I gotta, I gotta. No, this is not. Little kids in Africa. Not half bad. He um, likes it though. Like I'm shit, I'm, may, uh, I'm, j I'm shit talking, but like he actually, he's eating it because he likes it. Most of the corn stuff, that's cheddar, obviously. Well, I just can't get over hmm. why there's cheddar in the, in the gravy with tuna. What is that? It's a pretty fancy feast. Is, is it? I, I can see a cat. how something like this It's kind of goopy. Another stuff was supposed to be a little bit better for... So what are the what are the comments on this? Lo I love the digging in. Turned from a review into a mukbang. Subscribed. He's actually enjoying it. I know, Ariel. P.S. I love that you have co-hosts. So, you know, people are gen generally liking this guy. I mean, I approve. This is some nonsense, but <laughs> I approve. You know, uh, this is no sillier than me trying to eat dirt. So, you know, uh, hats off. Human reviews pet food. Uh, he's, he's, he's a real, he's a real mensch. Two bucks from Coco Atarashi. You should totally look up Cyrax. Yeah. Yeah. 545 from Silly Palm. Okay, not not for nothing, but imagining Claw in the Gordon's Fisherman overcoat and hat on a seafood label is pretty funny. I might have to draw that. Well, that seems like something you've invented in your own brain, sir, but that does sound pretty funny. Uh, five bucks from C. Gaspacho. Claw, most cat and dog food have to be human grade, so this stuff should technically be safe. It just doesn't have any spices and is lowest grade meat. But what happened to the whole thing about cat food giving you giving you fucking brain worms or whatever? And also, here's my question for you, chat. All right, my question for you: Where did we get this? Where did we get this? The 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 uh, the long standing, uh, like I don't know, stereotype or whatever about like old ladies eating cat food. Where does that come from? Because I heard that when I was, like, a kid. It was like, oh, old ladies stocking up on 89-cent cat food or whatever. I guess because they're poor, I, I guess, and cat food's cheap. I I don't know. I don't know where we, we all got this idea of old ladies just chowing down on Fancy Feast, but I've heard of that for years. Uh, so, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe the old ladies know something uh, <laughs> that I don't. I don't know why I'm reading the super chats now. Normally I save them to the end, but uh you know, I'm I'm reading them. You know what? I'm reading them now anyway, so uh we got 5 bucks from Coco Atarashi. Hope you're having a great day. You know I'm a bit hungry. Uh other than that, I'm I'm okay. And then uh, 2 bucks from Victor Martinez. Hope everyone here is having a great day. Well, it's a super day, you know. Uh everything is just super. Uh can you feel the sunshine? Everything is sunny. Everything up. And then we got ten bucks from Wine Glass Pikachu. So how much to get you to eat a can of a can of cat food on a stream? 
I mean, a whole can. If you're telling me that it's human grade, I, you know, I can probably find one that I can put up with. I, I don't know. Give me like, give me like a hundred dollars. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll have to find one that, uh, uh, I have to find one that I can put up with. Something that's not, something where I'm not going to be fucking going insane over why, why there's cheese in with tuna and gravy. But, uh, I don't know, maybe they make a spaghetti-flavored cat food. I'll try that. I can also try baby food, too. We need to see if there's a hum- hang on. Baby food review. Okay. Well, there's- okay, there was Critical trying baby food. There was that. I never saw that video. I need to see- okay, well, there's also Report of the Week tried baby food. Hello, everyone. This is Running on Empty. Food review! And he's gonna try it. Apple banana this pure is apple, banana, strawberry, baby food. Gray by this Gerber brand. Going in. Going in. Oh, he, he really timidly took a, took, a, took a bite. I mean, I don't know how bad it would be, right? Like, I... Like, you don't have to be so timid about, uh, about it, Report of the Week. It's like, I, I think it's probably gonna be fine, right? It's just apple... It's probably just apple... Sauce, basically, but with some strawberry banana. God, he really does. He is. He, you, the the spoon is shaking. He is so like. Did they pay him? Did they force him? Did they make him do it? I don't know. Uh, he just really like. You could see how you could see how the spoon is fucking shaking there. He does not want to try this. <laughs> But he, maybe he likes it. What's the verdict? What's the verdict review, brah? Stir it up a little more. Bro, I'm on the edge of my seat. You know, it's interesting right now. It's I'm interesting? Be, be straight up honest with you. Yeah? The marketing, again, it says half, one half apple, one strawberry, one tenth banana. And half a half apple, half strawberry, but then also there's a tenth of a banana. Also, I don't know. How, I don't know. I don't know how the math works on that, but I guess they gave it 110 percent. One of these three flavors is a lot more evident than the other two, and I'll tell you which one it is in a few seconds to just get that to, to just drive up. You know, now you're on the edge of your seat. I am. So, shoot, which flavor is it? No, I want to know if you like it though. So start taking bets. I'm going to take another spoonful of this, and we'll see which one comes out to be correct. We're just driving up the anticipation here to astronomical levels. <laughs> well, for those of you who guessed that the banana would be the strongest, you're wrong. Uh. And for those of you who guessed the strawberry one yeah, would be yeah, the strongest. Yeah? You too, sadly, are incorrect. No! And I know, a lot of people were putting the money on the I strawberry did! one. I did! I did! There was one whole strawberry in there, and and that's I bet, I bet that's that's what everyone went with. God damn it, I lost a platinum plate on that bet. But you're wrong, Motherfucker. Wrong, when I tried this one out... So it is just applesauce. Now, the texture, of course, texturally, as I said, it's like a puree. It's just very smooth... It's not watery, though. Imagine if you didn't it looks stir pretty this watery. up, because the directions explicitly state that you need to stir it up. You need to stir you it up. You gotta stir it like crazy. It's like a Snapple. It, is, it might be a little watery on the you top. Can't just eat, you can't just drink the Snapple. You gotta shake the Snapple. It's like a Yoo-Hoo. You gotta shake the Yoo-Hoo. You gotta stir it. You, you, you did you stir it, it enough? Together. And if you mix it all together and yeah? stir it up correctly, and you know you, you do a sufficient job with that, then it should come out as a puree, where it's just really smooth, it's not too chunky, it's not liquidy either. It's just really smooth. That's how this one was, again, but you need to stir it up So, first. I mean, I guess baby food is, like, probably better than than dog food, I would assume. Because, I mean, it, it, is, it is for humans. They're just, like, stupid, you know, micro-humans or whatever, so I guess that's fine. But uh, <laughs> we're going to move along. Let me see here. Uh, okay, well, we got $100 from Wine Glass Pikachu. He says, cat food stream. Uh, all right, all right, all right, I gotcha. Yeah, get me with a 50, I'll do the, I'll do the baby food. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. I don't know if it'll be a full stream. Well, you know, maybe we could make a stream of it. I could buy a few and you know, t taste test them or whatever. You know what I'll do? I'll watch the critical uh, p uh, cat food tier list and then I'll buy whichever ones like I see that that he didn't try. Basically, I'll I'll do my own my new cat food tier list. Shin cat food tier list. <laughs> And then two bucks from Try Breasted Coconut. The message says no message, but thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, we're, we're going to move along. We're going to move along. Uh, I don't, again, I don't know. I'm probably throwing people off. They're like, is the stream over? He's reading the super chats. No, I'm just doing it now for some reason. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I'm doing that, but, you know, I am. Uh, now, uh, we're going to take a look here. This guy. This guy might be kind of boring. I don't know about this guy. This guy, his titles seem incredibly dull. Uh, to the point where they're so dull that I'm like, I kind of want to see how how dull. Uh, this is a guy called Crazy Working Man. And uh, most of his titles are like, I was doing the dishes. I was doing dishes. I was cleaning up my dishes. I was cleaning up my back front yard. I was cleaning up my back front yard. So it's just this, like, I was working. That's, I was working on my room. Happy almost 60 subs. Hell yeah, dude. What is he at? He's at 59. Yeah. Uh, go give your boy 60 subs. I'm sure he is cool. He's a working man, you know? Uh, hey, what's up there, YouTube? This is crazy uh, working man. So, yeah. Epic shirt. You know, this is what I... I said the stream would be epic and for the win, and that's what we're seeing right now. So what are you... You're doing the dishes, are, are ya? And, and we need to see this? Does, does he have anything to say? Is this like a vlog? Hey, never mind. Don't subscribe to this guy. What the fuck? Why would you do this and not even say anything while you're recording? What's... Th I don't understand these people. What's the point of doing the fucking recording? You know? What's the point? Why are you putting this up here? Why do you think people would want to see you just washing dishes? Right? Like, if you're not saying anything, if you're washing dishes and you're being funny and you're, like, you're, like, ranting about something, that's fine. You know, go ahead and do that. Might be a little hard to hear with the with the water running or whatever, but that's fine. You know, but this is just, this is like when Iron Wrath cooks and he has just nothing to say. I was doing the dishes X2. He, he does a lot of dishes. <laughs> Okay, he's just like watching Power Rangers, I guess. Or something. All right. Well, you know, I think our boy, he's working, but I don't know if he's working uh, totally as intended, if you know what I mean. Uh, seems like. Yeah, so, well, oh! Mm -hmm. what, what, what's going on? Oh, he's saying things. Hey Butch, it's me, call me. Huh. Yeah, Butch. I had to call Butch just to let him know, but apparently he didn't answer, so. Aw. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is just a guy who's, you know, having, having a time. Uh, he was on the phone with some people here. What is what's 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 hey, up? Butch. What's, what, what are we talking about? This Saturday um, afternoon, if you want to meet us after you get done playing with D and D, uh, you want to meet us at El Camarón after the the Special Olympic hockey uh, tournament. See, like I don't know, man. I somebody recommended this guy to me at some point, and it's like you look at some of the videos, and I'm like, I just don't see why. Cause I know I didn't find this guy. This was somebody who like this was somebody who like the chat was like, hey, 
it's, it's, uh, you should check out Crazy Working Man. And I looked him up and I'm like, oh, this looks kind of promising. And then I look at the actual videos and it's like, I don't know why you would recommend this to, to me. Like, what is this? Like, was it a joke? Joke recommendation? Like, you found, like, the most boring channel ever. <laughs> I mean, and no shade to you, man. He's just living his life. He's just doing his thing, but it's not exactly entertaining to watch on YouTube, you know? And I mean, it's up, it's, it's, it's all, you know, it's all good if he wants to make that kind of content, that's fair. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's not really making content. It's more just like a video diary or whatever. That's fine. And that, that's fine if you want to do that. Uh, I don't know why you would have it public on your channel. I guess that's just the default. So, you know. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe leave this sort of thing unlisted, I don't know, but, uh, you know, for actually watching it on a stream, it's, it's not interesting, I don't know why anybody would really, would recommend it to me, maybe if I go to popular, no, I mean, even on popular, he's got a video called cleaning up the yard full of dog poop, and that's, that's like it, I don't know, I, I'm imagining the person who recommended this channel to me was like trying to, trying to be funny. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... No. No. He's got a shorts section, you know? He's got shorts. Uh... They don't, they don't look that interesting either. I don't know. I imagine whoever told me to, to look at this guy was just having a jape. Or... Or it's like the first person that this person has... that Whoever recommended this this guy to me... Has to have been the first, this has to have been the first individual that they have ever seen who is like a, a little, a little bit non-standard, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, I talk about Cyrax being someone's first lol cow and that being exciting to them, but like, wow. You just, just, just some guy who like barely talks and washes dishes. I mean, yeah, I guess the fact that he's doing it is like, you know, that's, there's a channel where a man is just washing dishes, but it's not, it's sure not that interesting. I don't know. And I mean, really, it's not that much of a mystery either. I mean, there's, there's channels where it's like, why does this exist? Why are there 400 videos of this guy doing this or that? And it's like, well, in this case, I mean, it's, it seems to just be a guy who's, you know, this is kind of like his diary or whatever, you know, he, for whatever reason, he's compelled to do this. And, you know, yeah. It's not really made with the intention of other people seeing it, I don't think. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. However, I do have to say... Uh, I do want to see here. He's got no comments on this. This is weird. It's his most viewed video here. He's got 1.5k views from August 16th. But he's got no comments. You know? I was really hoping for, for some... Like, because that's what I'm... You know? Five likes! 16 minutes of him just, just just lawn mowing like i guess if you need stock footage that's like not particularly high quality footage of somebody mowing a lawn i guess that's fine i guess you can i guess that's fine but uh yeah that's that's crazy working man and uh yo the new uh the new review the second part of the nightmare on elm street series that is to be watched later uh, let me take a look here. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we've got uh, $50 from Victor Martinez. Baby food stream. There's a W in there. Don't let me down, Deadwing Dork. All right. Okay, fine. We're doing a baby food, dog food tier list stream. By the, comp by the powers combined of $150. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> I suppose I'll do it. I guess that's fine. Uh, five bucks from Giovanni Romero. Hey, Claude, did you see that Caro rebranded? I did. I am not super interested in, in what he, what's going on with him. Five bucks from Miranda. I'm at work. Oh, my God. X D D D D D D D D D D D L plus ratio. Oh, plus fell off. And then ten bucks from Austin Leger. You promised us you'd eat some dog food and cat food. Do it or you're a coward. Lamau. Just kidding. Great stream, by the way. No, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it uh probably uh you know sometime that one i'll do soon because like the other ones where it's like oh i have to make the fucking ham and beer smoothie like you know that one i gotta like buy the ham i gotta waste a beer you know but like i don't know baby food yeah i just buy some of that i guess it would be it would be weird i have to go to stores i don't normally go to 
I have to go to, like, a, a weird store across the city from me and just get, like, 15 cans of baby food and, and dog food. And just, like, just stare the cashier in the eye the entire time. And then we got, uh, two bucks from XZX Parasites. How much for- how much for you to eat some gerbil food? Uh, well, you know, uh, f five hundred dollars, no more, no less. <laughs> let's- let's move along from that. Uh, we're gonna continue. Uh, here we have someone. Now, I wanted to- I think I was saving this person for maybe, uh, I don't know. This one might not even be that interesting. Also, I'm kind of clearing out stuff that I've had in my in my uh, saved uh, things on the internet folder. I'm just like, what is this? Did I ever look at this? And some of it is like a little bit interesting. This person seems kind of interesting. Uh, this person seems to be the sort of uh, mentally stunted adult with weird sexual fi fixations type of person. Uh, except it appears that she is a female and she, uh, really likes The Sims. This is Erica Goth. And, uh, if we go to most popular here, she does, like, big fat belly rumbling noise. Belly gurgle, growl, and hurts a lot, female. ASMR, stomach, stomach noises, gurgling, rumbling, belly noises, massaging pregnant and uh yeah other than that there's like M metopia and tamadachi life and uh the sims of course pc the sims 5 wow we're really getting ahead of ourselves here uh and yeah she like oh god she just she just drew a belly on her doll of herself i guess is she cosplaying as her doll is her doll herself. I'm very confused about this. I have to make sure I can even show this. I'm going to click on this hey video guys. here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, I never know what to say after that. Anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a subscriber request. Right. Okay. okay. And that is this. Drinks one whole yeah, gallon of water. water. Um, belly stuffing, belly filling, belly uh, inflation. Huh? With a gallon. Okay, right, you know, never mind. I was expecting this person was, like, developmentally disabled or something because I was seeing the fucking titles and I'm like, is this going to be one that we have to feel bad about? But no, this, this just seems to be a grown-up person who's just uh, doing this and for some reason they have, like, a sim uh me i guess it's a me it's it's a me sim uh of water water this um this one looks really delicious when i went to the market to look for one so alkaline why is it allowed on youtube well youtube's whole thing is no nipples or you know reproductive organs i guess and various other things that might be suggestive i don't know this is just kind of gonna be you know a belly which is fine and then i guess she's gonna be drinking there's an obvious you know sexual connotation i'd say the fart videos we were watching last stream uh might be a little bit more a little bit more concerning for YouTube, but, uh, you know, this is uh, certainly also happening. Smooth hydration, and it has, it says Himalayan minerals and electrolytes. Okay, hopefully this gives me superpowers. Uh-huh. So, this is my belly. I did eat a bagel this morning, because, you know, I can't help myself. Uh-huh. But. I mean, the whole video is just this picture, too. It's not even, like. Let's see. This is the this is the picture for the whole video. It's wild. Uh, I, I mean, this is this video. There's other videos. There's also just like like what are some of like what are some of these titles, right? Mother Erica Goth is bad Santa Claus. Wake up and jingle bell. Christmas songs and music. Mother Erica Goth is Dame Tucosita versus Patilla dance challenge. Alien dance challenge. And, and then we just have these ones, which look, you know, like she's, you know, rubbing her stomach or whatever. It's a wide selection of things uh, here. What's going on here? And 
then what are these comments? Are these like children, I guess? I don't understand. Cool music and then da Santa Jiggly Grandpa Santa is dancing. I don't know why it says Mother Erica Goth is bad Santa Claus. Uh, I don't understand why she is in this title. I don't understand who's clicking on these fucking videos. She, she hearts every comment except the one that says this song is inappropriate. No more loud words, okay? And uh, most of the comments are gibberish, but three of them are in a different language, two of them being Russian and one of them being Indonesian. There is over, there's only seven comments, but over 1,000 views. Well, now there's 13 comments, of which, like, seven are being shown. And, uh, oh, there's replies on this one. Ah, uh, yes, all very good, I see. And, uh, yeah, and there's, there's now 136,000 views on this. What? What? Oh, wait, this is new. This is new. Hang on. Uh, I was trying to see the other video, but I already saw the other video. Um, yeah, this is just Dami to Cosita, and it's like a minute of this, and it's just these two things dancing, and for some reason this gets 130,000 views. It even has, like, what appears to be a Joker watermark from some other channel or something. So, like, did did this person just, like, wholesta wholesale steal this video from someone and just get a cool 136k views off of it? Not a very good like ratio there. Uh, belly, belly gurgle, growl, and hurts a lot. That's good. Someone's jerking off to that. Uh, what about your sims? What about this content? What about this? We just have wordless hangout session where she feeds her me virtual candy. Go get it, you fat bitch! Yeah, eat the rapper too, you fucking horker! understand chat I don't understand but here's this picture too no that's good that's enough of that she's watching you by the way she knows when you're jerking off to the to this stuff who is this who are these people who are these characters in her role play I need to know Jesus Christ, is that the real noise from the fucking game? It sounds like she added extra fucking... Like, are these just people she knows? Are these like her parents? I don't understand. This person seems like she has the... Roly-poly-oly! It's just a 10-hour marathon of roly-poly-oly! Oh, well, I mean, hey, at least the channel's good for something. Wait, did roly-poly-oly give this woman a fat fetish? Is that what happened? She's now, she wants to be all roly-poly because these things are round ball people. Is that, is that literally the reason? Oh, Jesus. All right, well, I mean, there's a lot of this here. There's, this is heart radio. Uh, hello, my name is Erica. I like eating too much junk food desserts and junk food drinks to gain weight every single day. And all year round and every single year to get big fat belly is fun to me. And that's her. It's Erica Goth. And, uh, 
you know, uh, that's great. That's great for her. I love that for her. Uh, yeah, covered in fucking sweets, you fucking fatty. Here she is in Sims 2 eating as well. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Fucking loser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't even need a house. You just need food, you fat bitch. All right, well, that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Erica Goth. Uh, very unique channel. Uh, well, you know, hang on. Hang on. I shouldn't... No, we're not done yet because there is new content. That was all the popular stuff. Uh, if we go by new... Oh, boy. You see, I don't understand. I'm not sure if this person is just insane or what's going on, but you go by new, we've got all this stuff with hamsters. Part 66 of Mother Erica Goth is had fun in the cage. Uh... And then, like, this one, I guess she's carrying this doll around as she shows off her house. Hey, all people on YouTube. Welcome back to Erica Goff YouTube channel. What is this fucking voice now? We just heard her talking before and she didn't have whatever is happening in her voice happening. Did she get somebody else to do... The, the voice in that, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Who is this? Okay. Um, people, I want you to make sure to subscribe. <sighs> right. Um, it's not my fault, by the way, that she doxes her own house. Don't go there. There you go. Boom. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, she's going outside. Seeing her new house. No so they're in Britain. Okay. I mean, we heard, but we heard somebody before who was American who was doing the fat, the fucking yeah, belly fetish video or whatever. We heard somebody completely different. You have to go where you can. What? Yeah, so they're like, okay, so that's not even. So whoever. That's working, man. Hang on. Whoever this is in these popular videos, whoever made this video. That's some good water. So, I read somewhere. Did she just steal this audio maybe from someone else? I think that might be what it is. She just took some audio of somebody. Well, does, she, does this person. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, like this doesn't say specifically whose channel this is. This is like stolen audio from some other ASMR water drinking belly channel. That this like British lady like stapled to the... Fuck. Okay. Alright, well I guess that adds a new layer to it. Uh, we got fat boys in The Sims. Great. Uh, we got, uh, we got, we got horses. We got this. Mother Erica Goth said I am pregnant on 17 week and 4 months. Hey y'all people. Welcome back to Erica Goth YouTube channel. I want you to subscribe Erica Goth channel. And uh, don't you forget to... Go for me. Yeah, there is there that was indeed a hi people. I mean it was it was it was like eighty percent of the way there. Between subscribers, I want you to press like you like this video. And don't you forget to 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 subscribe, oh, Erica. Okay, so yeah, this is yeah. So I was right the first time. I was right, and I didn't even know because I saw the video where it was like. You know, uh, 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 some uh, random other lady who I guess she took the audio from. And I'm like, oh, well, this doesn't sound like the type of person who would run a channel like this. And then I piece together like, oh, she stole the fucking audio. Oh, that sounds like the type of person who would run a channel like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, that's uh, I guess we've solved the mystery. That's uh, that's Erica Goth. And she's got hamsters and she's got a new house. And I hope. Hope things are going good for her. I don't know. 
uh, what her deal is. I would assume, though, that this person is probably her. This person that with the belly and the shirt, you know, this human person that's in all of these thumbnails, that's probably just her. So that's, uh, I guess, the closest we have to actually seeing her. But let me uh, move along here. And, uh, okay, well, okay, I keep wanting, I keep wanting to move along, but, like, oh, jeez, oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, well, okay, well, I guess we're not done. We're not done with Erica Goth yet, because I go to the, I go here, description, hello, my name is Erica Goth. Erica Goth said Mother Erica Goth like to play with big fat belly making rumbling noises and Mother Erica Goth feel very hungry to eat far too much junk food to gain weight, get too fat every single day. Sophia Goth like to listen, mummy. Erica Goth belly noises. Erica Goth has a daughter called Sophia Goth. This is true on real life. Sophia Goth love you so much, mummy Erica Goth. Mummy Erica Goth love you so much, Sophia Goth. Mummy Erica Goth, doing doing eating food challenge to get more calories on your junk food. Mummy Erica Goth, going to eat big fat YouTuber people on YouTube channel about honey. Mummy Erica Goth is best big fat person in the whole world, is good. Mummy Erica Goth is YouTuber in real life, is true. Mummy Erica Goth, going to eat YouTuber call honey, is big fat person, part YouTube channel about honey. Erica Goth is best YouTube channel in the whole world. And please subscribe to Erica Goth YouTube channel to watching Erica Goth video every single day. I mean, you know, she's getting her SEO down, down pat. Now, is there like a, a person named Honey? I think that must be it. Well, I mean, I looked up Honey ASMR and I'm not... I'm not finding anybody necessarily, so I don't know. I'm not sure whose footage that was. I'm not sure if she's threatening to eat a YouTuber named Honey. I'm not sure if she is just really, really into uh, getting, you know, she just really wants a Honey sponsorship, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But that was a very strange descri description. And then it and then it leads to uh, this. Well, there's also download MP3. What the fuck? Okay, chat. Chat. So she has links, right, on her on her page here. And one of them, the Real Life People Wiki, which looks very interesting. But then the other one is Download MP3. And that just links to literally a website that downloads MP3s. I thought it might have been Download My MP3 of me talking or singing or, you know... Gr belly belly gurgling but no it's just mp3 download i guess if you need to download it's it's courteous if you need to download her belly gurgling noises to put into your like 2008 I ipod or something you know you you now you have that uh ability and then here's the real life people wiki uh which is the you know it's erica goth youtube channel channel of zombie space waffles which uh what's this uh, Erica and Adam. Oh, are these the people? Who the fuck is this? Hi, all. Welcome. What do you usually say? No, this what? is most definitely not the same people. This is an American lady. And I guess she's kind of... You know, on the on the larger side, I guess, and maybe this Erica lady uh, likes likes that, which you know, more power to you, I guess. But I mean, this is just a channel. Uh, they've got a crypto curium unboxing, which, given that it was from six six years ago, six years ago, I mean, I suppose that uh, that's probably not that's probably not crypto, uh, actually. But yeah, they haven't been active in five years, but it's linked here. Uh, for some reason. Uh. Hello, Erica and Adam. I subscribed to you today. Hello, I'm the zombie repairman. I was bitten on the first day, but luckily the scientists tell me I'm not a zombie. So I want to save people from getting zombified and help zombies return to a human state. 
The scientists take blood samples from me each week so they can test mine against zombies people send to us for repair. Um, so this is a channel, Zombie Space Waffles, that has like 200 subscribers. And yet somebody over here has made this entire, uh, like, bizarre thing about them. Adam Strange over here. Erica Goth is Adam Strange's best friend. Oh, I don't know if I trust this person. So this is like a wiki that she made. This is probably also not her. There's... This is also not her. Uh, yeah, this random stock footage lady uh, is not is not actually Erica Goth, but yeah, this this whole this whole wiki here, Erica Goth and Amy Sunshine, and it's just some me's, you know. I mean, I don't know. I guess this is. Oh boy. I am thirty two weeks pregnant. I like shepherd's pie. My husband put a lot of brown gravy in there. My back hurts and my legs hurt and my feet are applause. Like, oh, it's pulling. Is this just a fucking transcript from a video? I guess. And then here's just a bunch of, like, video titles, I guess. 3DS. Huh. Yeah, wild. All right, well, that, you know, that's Erica Goth. She's doing her thing. It's a whole weird rabbit hole of, of stuff, you know, it's it's amazing the energy that people like this have, you know. We say that they're, you know, disabled or whatever, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, you know. This is more ambition than I have, they made this whole fucking wiki, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot, that's saying a lot, you know, so so that's, uh, that's that. Uh, you know, I also want to, wait, wait. Okay, well, this is also confusing. Okay, no, hang on, because this is also confusing. Because her name is Erica Goth, right? And I'm like, well, it's funny how this lady here is totally not, you know, like, it's she's not a plus-size British lady or whatever. Uh, well, she might be British, I don't know. But then I'm like, being Erica Goth, and I click on it, and it's this lady here, and it's the same lady. And then I click on this, and I remember it's a TV show. There's a TV, it's like a Canadian TV show called Being Erica. And she, I guess she's just, why does she know about this Canadian TV show? A very strange, very strange stuff. The, the, the ingenuity of people, strange people with a lot of time. You know, it knows no bounds, really. So that's Erica Goth. Uh, you know, I'm, she's just minding her business, doing some stuff. It's a little bit creepy how, you know, that channel had 200 subs and she had, like, weird fan fiction about zombies, uh, or something written about them. That's pretty, that's pretty terrifying. Makes me never want to put myself out there. But, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, now we're gonna move along. Let me, uh, take a look here. Ah! <clears throat> We have 30 bucks from Piles. No message, but thank you very much. We have two bucks from Isaac. Uh, she wants to be pregnant and just has wires crossed, I guess. Yeah, the pregnancy is a big part of it. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Why are we back into Gunts again? I don't know. It just seems to follow us. Uh, 64 El Taco with five bucks. Awful content. Great stream. Yeah, oh, thank you uh five bucks from the knicks 2630 hey chat thoughts on john levy is he a troll is or is he for real i don't know who that is i'm not sure two bucks from victor martinez do you rely on public transportation uh not as not as hard as that guy we had to kick yesterday uh for anybody who's on the discord the the, the train guy is gone he, he he was like he was just like Every, every time he'd show up, it would be about trains and people would be like, oh, thanks, bro. Okay, thank you. Moving on. We had to make a train chat. And he was like, no, that's not good enough that there's a train thread, right? You need to make a whole train channel for me. And and so now he's just gone. So like, no, I mean, I, I, re I like public transportation, but I would not, I, I'm never going to, I'm never, 
I, I'm never going to be able to be a fan of public transportation now because of that guy. It's, it's, he's ruined it for everybody. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's, I don't know why I'm reading the super chats between segments today. I guess it just feels, you know, it feels natural. We get a little break between, between the things. It's, it's fine. Um, but, uh, we're going to take a look now. Let me see here. Open this one up here. And close that. Da, da, da. <sighs> I wouldn't make a chat at the behest of one single. Well, it was we called it the containment zone because he just went off about fucking trains, and uh, you know, and how car people are evil and how people who own cars are bad, especially his mom. Uh, it was a whole fucking thing, dude. It was a whole thing. We wouldn't have just. Like, my whole thing was, I agree, you know, fuck, fuck the infinite car structure of car, f f f car dependent America. People just living in these shit ass little suburb communities a million miles from anything. And it's like, I agree, fuck cars, we should, we should have more trains. But I don't negotiate with terrorists, dude, so, you know, you got your, you got your containment zone. But that, you, that just wasn't enough for you. You had to get all uppity. Well, anyways. Uh, let me see here. Try to get this refocused. We're on Reddit now. And uh, this is Saturn Storm Cube. I gotta be careful about what I show here. Ah, uh, the presence of the Shining Ones, Ball of Light, UAP slash UFOs, are active, benevolent, and malevolent interdimensional entities watching and manipulating the progression of mankind since the beginning of time. So, I mean, I'm very happy for the alien people at this point, uh, especially Smelly Scrotes 27 over here. I'm very happy for the alien people at this point because, uh, well, you know, now there's like a UFOs everywhere. And, uh, you know, this is like, this is a great time for them, for them to be alive. Uh, about community. We are committed to uncovering and exposing the occult Saturnian agenda of the global cabal. Uh, n name the, name the J word. Come on. You know you want to. You know you're going to eventually. Uh, careful understanding of the universal esoteric mysteries lead to a complete understanding of the truth. All related aspects are covered, such as God, the concealed primeval cube, the eclipse corona sign, alien entities, the day of the storm, the time matrix, the agendas of ancient and modern secret fraternal orders. You know, these are all sounding like really great subtitles for like, I don't know, like, like a action man and the day of the storm, you know? I don't know. Sam and Max versus the Time Matrix. So, I don't know. Uh, esoteric messages contained within ancient to modern media. So, you know, if there's anything that they find a pattern in that links to cubes or Saturn or something, uh, then there you go. In 1997, uh, talk show host Art Bell received a frantic call from a man who claimed to have worked at Area 51. He spoke about it. Yeah, well, that's Art Bell. Uh... Russell Brand has a mini statue of the two-finger salute, which was a symbol for Osiris in ancient Egypt and then became a symbol for the modern Jesus and Baphomet. And then we got a video here. Hang on. See his video on climate change. Well, but this is Russell Brand. I'm not watching Russell Brand. I mean, I'm sure he's right about everything. So speaking of the... Th I mean, the whole thing here, right... So the, the, we got the rules, you know. Do not worship the planet Saturn or the concealed primeval cube. The concealed primeval cube, heaven, or any other created thing is idolatry. So, so okay, so heaven, the concept of heaven is, is bad. Don't, right. Don't, doing this would be synonymous to worshiping other symbols and objects such as humans, angelic gods, demons, AI contra constructs, or a mere idol such as a golden calf. None of these can save your soul. Uh, okay, but but can I pay like a lot of money and have my soul saved? The the father of creation uh, commands us to worship him through his son, oh the Messiah, who is the open door to eternal salvation and life with him on the new earth 
in the age to come. Bro, I'm almost at the new world in, in One Piece. It's very exciting. Uh, number two here, number two rule. Respect each other and keep civil dis discussion. Uh, can't be, man, you can't even be racist and, and bigoted on the, on the Saturn Cube subreddit. That's a shame. You know, is nowhere safe? You know, damn. <laughs> All just jokes. Posts and community, posts and comments must, uh, focus on Saturn occult related subjects. Uh, well, you know, but that's the fun thing though. Imagine getting banned from this place, but you're crazy enough to be like, no, but it was related. You just didn't get it. You just didn't see the connections, man. You're all in on it. Uh, titles must informatively explain the content of the submission. Uh, Zionist Israel posts are removed to guard the sub from Reddit admins. Because Reddit.com administrators enforce their site-wide rule one on a Saturn Storm Cube discussion, posts about Zionism and or Israel are now removed on Saturn Storm Cube to protect all of its resources. Because they made us stop talking about Zionists. God damn it. You know, I mean, I said name, the, say the J word, but we got the, we got the Z word instead. That's like, that's like the hard R version. That's, that's crazy. Um, well, no, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna scroll a little bit, but we got the reptilians vegan agenda. Reptilians encourage veganism in the media because they prefer their prey grain fed. Well, I mean, I don't know about encouraging it in the media. Yeah, v being a vegan is sort of like, I don't know, buying a wall of Funko Pops. It's like, like you have access to all of the information that, that, that should tell you that this is embarrassing and that you should be ashamed, but you're just doing it. So I guess there's no stopping you. There's just no stopping some people. Uh, uh, let me see here. Age restricted video. What is the significance of the whispering eye? Uh, is it another term for the all-seeing eye? So somebody over here named Real King Carrot is saying to not feed the trolls. There are obvious pose on this sub. Not sure if normies just randomly found it or if it's a coordinated attack, but best course of action is just ignore them. What's going on in the comments here? Uh, for a nice, for a small niche sub like this, someone feels very threatened. I would say we keep digging. We aren't doing anything special, but the demons learned their lesson to nip it in the bud a couple thousand years ago. It being anything that challenges their authority and agenda. Oh man, we're really rising up against society here. We'll keep on fighting. How about looking at things from a new perspective? They attack all the subs that come anywhere close to truth or discovering truth. Enlightened one underscore one over here. This is so true. Now, so my favorite thing about Reddit, the one thing that I really enjoy about Reddit is that when you find a crazy people sub, and uh, when you find a sub filled with crazy people, right, and you you're able to go through this and click on the names of the people and be like, what are you also up to, right? Like, you're here, you believe in the Saturn Storm Cube, right? King Carrot o OP. You know, but what else are you into, right? Uh, r slash Circle Jerk. Uh, somebody asks, why is the woke left hell-bent on destroying the cartel? Oh, we're talking about the, the golf cartel. All right. Uh... And, and so real King Carrot responds, The illicit drug trade isn't what it used to be, I tell you what. Back in the day, we were running and gunning. Now it's all, is this cocaine fair trade certified? And support women and BIPOC drug lords. Uh, this, is a, this is a GTA character, yes. Uh, do you want $69 trillion or should I double it and give it to the next person? On shitty ask Reddit. Uh, very unpleasant experience. True Christian. People have been asking question, this question and arguing about it for hundreds of years. Calvinists do... Okay, so... Uh, so this guy is, a, is, a, is a, a Jordan Peterson fan. The man is simply not intended to be online. Uh, I guess this is after he like retweeted Chinese porn or something. I don't know. Uh, he's brilliant. He's one of the most important men of current year. But sometimes on Twitter, he's just a boomer. Uh hard disagree yeah the guy uh, so uh you know i mean 
I don't I don't have any real strong opinions about Jordan Peterson. I know a lot of people do, but it's always fun when you see someone that you don't know that much about and you're like, "Oh, I guess this guy this guy really likes that dude." Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh Ah, on Saturn Storm Cube, why would people keep why would people trying to keep a massive global conspiracy under wraps constantly drop hints about it? And he says, eventually they won't be hiding anything. All of it will be done right out in the open and people will deny it anyway because we're being conditioned into blind slavery. Also, there are people involved, but you're thinking about it from the perspective of humans being behind all this. See, this is the problem, is that this guy is like 51% correct. It's like, yeah, they are kind of just... The big evil corporations and forces at play, the powers that be, are kind of just relying on our complacency and apathy and not giving a shit as they pull the wool over our, our eyes and do various illicit things. But it's like, we have fucking, we have fucking crazy people like this going off about the Saturn cube, and it's like, well, I don't know if people are gonna listen to the, you know, you know, listen to that message anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, it seems too coordinated and timely to be a random implosion, about as random as the World Trade Center was. This guy talking about how there's trolls attacking their subreddit, you know, occasionally posting a funny meme that probably is, like, indis indistinguishable from the actual content of the subreddit. And that's on par with 9-11, you know, uh, that's... About as random as the WTC. We know, we'll know when CERN opens the pit. Ah, oh, I see. The pit. Right. Ah. Uh, hang on, I just gotta... Just gotta... There we go, just gotta call the fucking authorities real quick. Alright, uh, of actuality, the Gotthard Tunnel. Okay. Uh, what about their arrival as timely? Yeah, in what way is this similar to 9-11? Oh, I mean, I, you know, they all showed up around the same time, you know. It's like 9-11, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm trying to think of another thing where everybody showed up at the same time. I don't know. 9-11, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, fucking Sabauti archipelago with all of the fucking the the rookie pirates or whatever you know they all just showed up at the same time there you go i found a reference uh not sure what you're referring to but try to ignore the ones that clearly bait you into an argument typical jedi rhetoric uh, i say we refer to them as sheeple oh that's a good one that's original they are clueless sheeple can't see symbolism uh, to me, they are uneducated. When you know the symbolism, for me, it was through reading and an English lit degree. The hidden aspects of the world stand out more in the symbolism. See, I don't understand how these people who have degrees, it's like, can't you, I don't know, can't you just tell, like, I don't know, symbolism? Like, this is a, these are symbols for things that you are, like, seeing, though. Like, it's not, sim it's not like, it's not like you watch a movie that, you know, that has themes of a certain, a, th a certain thing, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, obvious, the obvious themes here. This is just like, you've decided that there's a thing that you believe in, and, and therefore anything that, like, bolsters that is proof, I guess. I, I mean, it's such a broad thing, I mean, ultimately what this subreddit is, it's about cubes. People are like, People think that the symbolism, that the, the symbolism that they're talking about in that post is cubes, is the shape of cubes. That's symbolism, because they believe that cubes symbolize something. So it's like, you know, I mean, I don't know about the symbolism. That might be on you. You know, you might be reading into it. Uh, what's the meaning behind the cube and why did people worship Saturn? I'm new to this. No, we, so, okay, so we're looking for something more like this. This symbol was found on the side of a cardboard box a homeless person was using as a toilet. The signs are everywhere. You just need to be aware of what they mean. Our overlords cannot fool us forever. And, um, yeah, this is what the sign is. This guy sees a random hobo, uh, pissing in a box or something. And he's like, well, there's a cube. It has nothing to do with the fact that the box is a- is a cube. You know. This is just a random cube that in no way refers to this box. This is a non-sequitur cube that's on the side of this box.
that is just here for s the sole purpose of symbolizing the Saturn Death Cult and the cubes. And it has nothing to do with the fact that this thing is shaped like a box and maybe this is like a warning about the box. No, nope, this is a this is a symbol about the Death Cube. The signs are all there, man. Um, maybe this is one of the Poe's, though. I don't know. Uh, Grody Satva continues here. This is the the OP. Saturn equals sat urn. As in, a homeless person sat on this box, and now you are now under the control. Okay, I think this is a joke. Yeah, this is a joke. All right, this one's a joke. This one is a joke. They can't fool us forever. That one is a joke, but we're getting close to... Yeah, it's everywhere. This is a... This, someone made a spider cube thing that walks around, and these people think that this is a... Uh, a symbol of the times, you know? Uh, imagine my shock when I opened my front door and found a brown cube. It had my name and address written on it. Inside was something I ordered from eBay. My heart is literally racing right now. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> I mean, but that is what they believe, though. This is what they actually believe. Uh, it's everywhere. Hi, everyone. It's the pop. Hi everyone, it's Hillary Clinton. Hi everyone, it's Obama. Hi everyone, it's Trump. We, we just, just want, want to remind you that we are the Satanic Illuminati New World Order. We will implant microchip everyone someday soon for security, for security reasons. reasons, of course. I am the Biblical Antichrist. Welcome to the end of days. There is nothing you can do about it. Who will believe you? Remember, join Lucifer and get free money for life. Amen. 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 Dude, I love the journey. That's my favorite GTA 4 radio station. That's great. Um, so I'm looking for the guy. There's a specific guy. I want to try to find him here. There's a specific guy I mentioned the other day who uh, I looked up his account and he was uh, he had some sort of a subreddit where he shoves cactuses up his ass. Um. Starbucks Saturn logo. Is it this guy? I don't think so. I'm probably going to know the name when I see it. Hmm. Question about Saturn worship. Well, there's a chant there's a there's a page here called Satan Exposed and it's got Brad Pitt as its as its uh, avatar. This might this one might also be a joke. We got a lot of super fun redditors. Uh Huh. Let me see. I'm trying to find the guy with the cactus up his ass. This is like not going. This is not going. This is just not going. Is it this guy? Celestial being 722. Is it you? Oh. Uh, God damn it. All right. No. No. I got to find it. I got to find it. I got I got to find it. I got to go search for cactus. And uh is that man shoving a cactus up his ass? Yeah, he sure is. Who is this man? Okay, I have to find the cactus up the ass subreddit in order to reverse search this man. Tricocer... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna do this. Tri Tricocerius... Madness. Right, there's eight members of this subreddit, and I certainly can't show it uh, some of the time. Well, actually, no, I think... Uh, I, I think I'm not seeing the, the NSFW stuff, maybe, because there is an image on here somewhere of him shoving a cactus up his ass. Maybe he took it down, I don't know. But this is somebody... Um, oh... I ate 700 mg of mescaline last night, but all that happened was I shit my pants and had sex with my dad. Will my tolerance be too high if I want to try again tonight? Now, see, here's the thing, right? Um, is, uh, this sounds, so, so this is the guy who posted the joke one about the box that someone pissed in, right? And I thought it was a joke. 
But he has this whole subreddit about shoving cactuses inside of you or whatever. Uh, we got this here. Uh, let's cut the shit. All the phallic innuendo and anal fixation is childish. Let's stop all this post-ironic centrifugal bullshit and just admit it. We want cock. So that's why I made this sub for guys like me who are tired of the bullshit and just trying to fuck, but we can also trade cactus and stuff. Uh, comment down below if you're a real mature tender dude who wants to fuck dirty style in bathrooms, but also trade clones and seeds and rulers. What the hell? I'll try anything three times. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is probably somewhat of a joke. But, I mean, on the other hand... Shit, though. I mean, shit. Like, this is one of those things where, like, is it a joke? Does it matter? Free Trico clones at whatever. Come try it out. Trico heads who love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot cactus guy and you want to fuck me at my place... Uh, if you want to move in and get free cactus, you can move in, but you gotta fuck me. Uh, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Free rent, free hybrids, free clones, and everything else, man. Here's the deal, man. Man from jail, homeless, Facebook, or, um, you're a breeder. Wanna come? Move in, your friend can move in too, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me! Piss on me, beat me, hoe my garden out. You see me? You wanna come over today and try it out? Try it out, man! If you're in my building, try it out. You wanna fucking piss on me? Try it out! Serious replies only. Let's fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys who wanna trade cactus and mean it and wanna do it and I want them to deliver it. I'm a hot white trash cum dump. Let's fucking trade plants. I'm looking for hardcore co This is a different guy. Hardcore coyotes who mean it and wanna do it. If you're a hot blue Peruvian, call me. Monstros Bolivians, Ozzy Scops, Oguns from the witch market. Try it out, man. Come and touch my cactus through the fence. I keep it high and tight, mommy. Edit. No fat pores, though. Man, I'm just... You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting to wonder if this is... I'm starting to get vibes of, you know, every time we look at something and it's like, oh, are they secretly trafficking drugs through this subreddit? What is this? I mean, I guess this could be like a secret peyote subreddit. I don't know. But, uh, that's, that's quite something. This is, a, this is a situation where it's like, hey, you know, either you... Either you wrote that for someone like me to find it and make fun of it, or you wrote it because it's your thing, and either way, you know, either way, that's pretty funny. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, looking through more of this subreddit a little bit here. Uh, well, we have somebody named Krypton Plasma Moon here. Seems to have some opinions. A little tot for everyone I can't stop thinking about from time to time since last year. Krypton gas hull thrusters that are used on the new SAT Elite Grid Starlink are used as a propulsion system for those satellites. This Krypton gas can be found at a spe specific altitude in our atmos atmosphere, like how we have different layers of fluid densities and how they don't all mix with one another, but lay in top of one another, like how oil and gas... So that's got to do with Saturn, does it? What's the point? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, they finally admit it. FBI director says COVID most likely le leaked from Chinese government. Oh, uh, did they? They did finally admit that, huh? Oh, well, that's good. Uh <laughs> Is it still racist to suggest that it was an engineered... Anyways, um... Uh, uh... What the fuck is this? Levels of consciousness? Uh... Shame. Full consciousness. So if you're... Oh my god. Try and fucking read this. Jesus Christ. Self-empowerment. Purgatory. Fear. Grief. Ah. Uh. I am presence. Oh, is this some of that fucking Queen Dildo shit? The I Brave I Ams, the We the People of Canada, that whole thing. Fifth Dimension. So like, okay, so f so so okay, so if you're like shamed and guilty and apathetic and you feel grief and fear, I mean this is like most of us, right? This is like most of us down in this bottom bottom 100 here but then after that you got your desire you know anger pride courage 
For some reason, neutrality is 250. I guess that's sort of like being a monk. You gotta have perfectly neutral emotions. And that puts you somewhere. This is this is the, you know, this is heaven up here and down here is hell. So if you're like one of these types of people, you're in hell. And I, you know, that's true. That's just true. Uh, but if you're like in the third dimension here, it's kind of more purgatory. Uh, and then as we start to go up, it starts to get more questionable. Like these are all things that are, you know... These are all things down here in victim slash abuser consciousness that are like real human emotions and, and states of being. And then as you go up, you start to get to like inner light. Like, oh, yeah, inner light, right. Yeah, that, that emotion. Yeah, I know what my face looks like when I'm experiencing inner light on the emotion chart. Yep. Presence. Non-duality. Awareness. And then The Great Void, which I think is a Dream Theater album. Divine Grace and Love and Union, which I think is a double album by uh, Coheed and Cambria. And then Supra Causal Truth. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a supercar, actually, from, from Midnight Club. Uh, and then Full Consciousness. I mean, that's the that's the platinum trophy. That's what you get once you, you know, you gotta you gotta get through everything else here. So I mean this is like uh, I guess identifying I mean, I don't know. It, it's really all it's, it's really all kind of subjective. It's like, well, you know, by their definition of what awareness is, I guess you could say that uh, none of us are probably aware. But by my own definition, it's like, well, you know, I'm pretty fucking aware of like my own existence, and you know, so non-duality. I'm I am not I I am not non-binary. So there you go. I uh, non-duality. There you go. That's another. Is that, so I don't know how this I don't know how this works, but this is very interesting. This is good. This is some some good Saturn, some real Saturn logic here. And um, uh, you know we got responses. I have some things in hell and some in paradise. Not sure if this thing is limiting to only one. Blah blah blah. This is very interesting. Yeah, it should have had more inter information, not just a picture. Enlightenment isn't a specific sector of the spectrum. Enlightenment is between each specific sector. Moving through the spectrum is an enlightening experience. Every time one shifts from one frequency to another, there is enlightenment. Yeah, so again, it's like... Like, the great thing about something like this is that basically most of these... Most of these ones that we're supposed to strive for and not be gu guilty of having... Like, all of this stuff down here... Like, fear and anger and grief, these are all things that people actually feel. But as you start going up, it's like, it's just fun how many of these... I mean, you can really just bullshit your way through any of these. I mean, I don't know what they think supra-causal truth is. But, uh, you know, I totally have that. That's my consciousness. I'm uh, definitely on a supra-causal truth level. Uh, because, you know, uh, I understand, you know, the causal truth of everything is uh riboflavin right and you know if you don't have your riboflavin you can't get up in the morning and there you go and so there you go i have super causal truth boom i fit the i fit the the crazy people uh tier list or whatever this is um let's see here do a little bit more in the subreddit uh no 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 come back come on back bring it back bring it back uh so this guy over here is like having a freak out because he sees the Time Warner, uh, like, manhole cover. And he's like, what does this symbol mean? And at first I looked at it and I'm like, isn't that the fucking Second Life logo? But no, that's just the Time Warner cable logo. Like, it literally says what it is. 85 comments. Time Warner cable, an eye with a swirl. Hypnosis. Exactly. Television programming. Tell lies to your vision. Oh, he got it. Uh, that's Naruto Leaf Village. That's true. Uh, looks like Time Warner Cable's old symbol. I mean, village hidden. I don't think the guy was like, what symbol does this look like? He was liter literally like not aware that that's the symbol of Time Warner Cable. And he was just like, this is a symbol. D is this the secret? Is this the spot where they're controlling us from? Is this, is this the, is this the sign? It's like, no, bro, it's just Time Warner Cable. I'm sorry. Uh, we got some Chris Rock down here. A movie from 2018, which is based on a transcript of a person who allegedly died. Predicted COVID and predicts a fake alien invasion in 2024. Well, uh... 
you know, we're certainly on track to that. Uh, you know, we'll we'll tune in on we'll tune in to this if we get if we get some more alien news in like a year. I mean, it feels like with these people, they they it's always troubling because they'll have their date, you know, the date that they set, the doomsday cult or whatever, and they're like, oh yeah, well, uh, we're gonna the world's gonna end uh, on November thirtieth, two thousand. 23 and it's gonna be specifically at 8 17 at night uh on eastern time zone and and it's like you say that right and you have to set it at a date where it's far enough away that people are like oh well i better i get my get my affairs in order i still have well, i still have time but it's like also close enough that people aren't gonna be like you don't want to have you don't want to have it set for 10 years from now because then it's like, well, you just have to hold... That's a bigger sell. That's a bigger sell. You know? And if, if you're like, oh, the aliens are coming. They're going to invade us in 2030. Like, well, we got a ways to wait for that. This gets people on board quickly. This is more shocking. You say the invasion's going to be 2024. The only problem with that, of course, is that it that just means that you're setting the date for when that doesn't happen even closer. So you've got to set... You know, you've got to have it written in advance. You know your excuse for why for why it didn't happen uh what was the guy's name like harold camping or whatever the guy who was like oh the world's gonna end in 2011 and then it didn't and you know you just have to come up with like a, well you know we were spared because of our faith but it could happen anytime we never know it we never know um a very low budget documentary with a very low score uh, which is based on a claims to be based on a true story and that's from 2018 that is interesting i mean shit i might need to look into this actually in my own time ah uh, satanic Ilu disney and the illuminati well this one's not safe for work what is this oh i have to log in god damn it that's why i couldn't see the cactus in the ass what a shame the war against the name of salvation uh what does it all mean blah 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 so you know they're doing their thing saturn people god people they're scared of something and we live in a pretty scary world right now so i suppose they have reasons to be we're living in a in a world with a giant pandemic and weird alien well not alien necessarily but weird unidentified balloons and other things floating around our cities and it's like yeah i can see why you guys might be you know, frothing at the mouth a little bit right now, specifically. Um, it's the most interesting time period in history to be crazy. Uh, why is Jesus so mainstream? Oh my God, what is this? Hang on, no, we were gonna stop this. We were gonna, we were gonna move on, but why is Jesus so mainstream? The stories of Jesus correlate to Horus almost perfectly, and obviously Horus was here before Jesus. It's clear that Jesus is just the Greek slash Roman Horus. Alexander the Great conquered Egypt and then Greek uh yeah I know dude and it's obviously white black swan is just a ripoff of perfect blue dude obviously like fuck 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 American filmmakers like um all right so Jesus is just too mainstream Jesus they literal like we need to be hipsters and find a a, a religion <laughs> that's less mainstream that's 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 excellent uh this is six 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 above Starbucks. I I gotta stop looking at this. No, but maybe I don't. Oh God, look, we got a poem or something. What is this? What is this? Black Iron Prison. Just get it. Just get it in the box. I mean, you'll love it. It's a way of life. It's the box. It doesn't get much more box than this. Well, I see that everybody else pretty much has the box covered. Probably not a lot of new ground to be tread upon to be found in the box. I think I'm gonna do what I can to scout the terrain that exists outside of the box. Yeah, but, I mean, it's THE box. You like the box, Weisenheimer. Everybody likes the box. Get in the fucking box! No thanks. I think that the box seems kind of limiting in, like, how- Have you ever thought how you can't see outside of the box once you're in the box at all? And, like, how, like, people in the boxes seem to be kind of not knowing what the fuck's going on around them at all? So this is a conversation he's having between, like, himself and, like, a straw man version of the man, or whatever, society, 
telling him to get in the the, the box. Get in the fucking box now, sicko! This is not a request. You're a fucking sicko! Um, so society is trying to force him into the box. No, I don't think I will get in the fucking box, mister, he thought to himself as he merrily skipped away. I was born outside the box. Fuck your fucking box! If I get into any box, it'll be of my own volition! And it'll be my own fucking box! He ironically vowed to himself, not realizing that even being born and raised outside the cave, into a knowable world of sensations and light, didn't preclude him from being born into the ultimate cage of time. A box from which there is no escape. da na 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 The fucking Twilight Zone, like... Okay. This is slam poetry for this forum. Saturn Storm. Well, this just links to the same. Wait, what? This just links to the. Hang on. This seems to just link to this subreddit. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh. I share your sentiment. It sounds like something Shell Silverstein made up for laughs. The bo the fox in the box, but okay, so yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's the Saturn people. They uh, they have some, they have some beliefs. Hopefully, not all of them are trolls, because I want to believe some of them are just that crazy. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh, we got five bucks from Kate. This reminds me of when my uncle and I would look at the Godlike Productions forums. You know, I've wanted to look at that, but they tell me that I'm not allowed to because uh, they're going to get their agents to stop me or something. I don't know. That's the best thing about Godlike Productions. It has like a thing to, when you when you go on the site, it's like you you agree that you will not take pictures of the website or take any videos. And it's like, I don't know if they I don't know if they can enforce that. I guess maybe copyright? But even that's, like, questionable. I mean, it's just a fucking website. It's it's a free website. It's not even like it's... It's not even like it's paid content to get in or anything. It's, it's just free stuff that... You know, as long as YouTube says it's okay, I'm pretty sure it's okay, but... But no, ever, ever since, like, way back then... Way back when, Godlike Productions is, like... It's kind of like the fucking... The, the dog sitter tape that's like, we, we, we will erase your VCR if you record this thing. And it's just a big fucking lie. It's just a lie to like scare people <laughs> so they don't record it. You, you better not fucking talk about godlike productions. We'll send our Matrix agents after you. Like, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, five, five pounds from Monarch Malarkey. Hey man, watched your streams all week. They've kept me company whilst marking papers. Gotta go, but thanks a lot. Well, you're you're welcome. Uh, enjoy your your paper marking, uh, and whatnot. I I hope that you didn't. I hope that you didn't. Uh, you know, it's, it's always concerning for me because I feel like if I was listening to something like this and I was trying to do work like that, eventually I would just accidentally mark someone's paper with like, like uh, the word cringe, or like. I don't know, something. Like, I would just accidentally start writing out a chat comment and then realize that it's on, you know, Billy Smith's fucking science paper or whatever. You know, that's that that's a shame. That Billy Smith doesn't deserve that. Um Let's see. Do I have anything else? I do. I have one more thing to share with you today. At least for today. I've got some more stuff I want to do soon. TM. But uh one more thing. And uh that would be let me see. Close this. Close this. That would be this. Uh, so you can see from the thumbnail, uh, you know, the thumbnail is a strange person that appears to be an anime uh, dancing or something in, in some kind of a dark room. And, uh, you know, here, here we have a channel called Joey Akald. A-K-A-L-D. And, uh, Joey has this, uh, anime mask face doll person, uh, over here on the casting couch. Uh, very nice, very nice stuff. Hey, hey there, Ter Terralyn. This is Terralyn's new sofa. Ah, 
That's great for her. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so I'm so glad. No sound. You know, so I mean You know, and I mean, I don't know if all of the videos have no sound. There's a bunch of these here with these anime people. Uh oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh boy. Um, uh, there is audio. I mean, there should be sound. There's just hauntingly nothing. Let me actually, no, you know, hang on. Hang on. I feel fantastic! <laughs> yes, you're, you're correct. Uh, let me... That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Wait, is it is it is it the second one? Yeah, I think it's this one. something so frightening. Have you ever encountered something quite so terrifying? good stuff that's a good that's a good video uh that's a really good video with no sound you know and uh here we have the kigurumi at the park here though maybe this will have sound no nope. no sound needed you know we're at the park we're vibing pamper chews off on the on the swings uh just around the corner with his daddy and and just around the corner this is happening I mean, anime waifu here has a real figure. It, it appears to be a female figure. So that's what's even more concerning. I don't know why I still have this. Hit. Yeah. Uh, that's what's even more concerning. Uh, you know, typically you see this kind of thing. It's usually a guy dressing up as like a fucking anime girl. Or it's like some sort of a cross-dressing type of deal or something. Uh, here it just appears like this, this appears to have, this person appears to have like hips. And like, you know, female form. I'm maybe it's all prosthetics. But uh I've never seen a female person dress with like the weird anime mask thing. It's calling I, I think the character is Kigurumi. I think that's the name of one of the characters. Or no, no, that can't be it. This is Jade and Co. No, the Kigurumi is like the name of a isn't that like the oh god oh my god okay isn't that like the name of the fucking onesies okay all right okay all right and that's the name of the, like the onesies the 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 kigurumi onesie things where you dress up like a fucking squirrel or whatever and you go to sleep that's like that's what that is i don't think this is kigurumi i think this is a different thing but here's erica's white outfit sound there's sound oh that's even worse oh no Oh, that's worse. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, that's a female figure. Dressing in this wacky anime mask. Right here. Can I show this? Hang on. Is she about to upskirt us? I don't think she's upskirting, but it's like dangerously close. It's just kind of a whole lot of, you know, this. You know, Persona 6's graphics are looking really good, I gotta say. 
really lifelike character models. Um, second wacky thing on the stream. Okay, what the fuck? Well, okay, I was about to say this is the second wacky person named Erica. I mean, this is not their name, probably, but this is a... This is the character named Erica here. And this is her... Her message. Oh my god, it's like a ransom note. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are these fucking women okay? These are multiple people. Are they hostages? Is this willing? I, I just don't know. I just don't... I just don't know. So I saw that, and that was exciting, but then I saw this. Um, so... Oh, boy, that's a mouth. That's that's the human mouth in there. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's a guy's mouth. I don't know about this, uh... Oh. Oh, that's a... I thought this was like a fur suit, but this is like a, a fucking dress. This is like a tight dress. And this bunny's got fucking cake. Oh, this reminds me of the sexy Garfield with the lasagna. Oh god, oh the silence. I think I prefer when there was just not even any noise. Maybe being quiet is part of it. Oh, for God's sake. No, no, not furries at PetSmart. God damn it. Uh, shit, dog. Uh, Erica's white kimono. Lee webcamming, 15th of October, 2008. This is over... This is like 14, 15 years ago or something. Shit. She does kind of look like an N64 Zelda character. Like, I love that the nose is just like a cone. I mean, I guess this is what a an anime would look like in real life. We can't really argue with this. She's got like a little doll. I guess. No words are spoken on this whole channel. This is amazing. There's not a word spoken on this entire channel. Here's Erica and Mars. This is the most popular video here. Good, good music. Hang on, hang on. I got, I got something even better. I got something even better. Uh, just a little bit of, uh, you know, do this and then, uh, shit. Now I forget which song is which. We're going to have to just, we're going to have to just, we're going to have to just go with this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, the slit in the side. Sexy stuff. Ah, oh, is it time for sex? Long have I waited. Note that... Note that no words are spoken. Sexy! Oh yeah. We like to fuck. We like the pain. This is about this is about to turn into God damn it. This is about to turn into two anime girls, one cup, I think. This is a this is very concerning. I don't know. I think that's it for for this channel there's not much to say other than boy this is weird but uh there sure is a lot of it they haven't posted in 10 years uh hopefully they're dead um 
they used to do videos at like furry conventions and stuff. There's one here where, oh boy, oh, this is like a slideshow. Oh my God. Okay. Well, can I show everything in this? I think so. All right. Well, this is a pretty good one. I'll show this. This is a theme in this stream. I keep being like, all right, well, that's enough of this channel. Actually, wait, hold on. And we have like another 10 minutes. Uh, so, so, we got, like, a montage here of, uh, this is a slideshow of Lee, uh, this fucking, uh, Kigurumi person, I guess. I guess that's what the word is for it. I always heard, I thought that was a completely different thing, but alright. Uh, but that, but, so we're in Joker Man. We're in Joker Man font, and that's important to note. Um, thank you to all these fucking people. Thanks to Kenshin. Um, and, you know, there's Lee. There she is. Sexy stuff. People really want to have this in their life. Um, this is reminding me, like, I know this is how beautiful is the rain after the dust and the heat in the broad and fiery street in the narrow rain lane. How beautiful is the rain? So, I mean, um, this image, I guess this is from Max Payne or something. I don't know. But uh, th th this is reminding me of... Um, this is reminding me of the fucking Princess Sally doll with the bones, with the human skeleton or whatever inside of it. Like, I know this is a real person who's alive. But, uh, I guess this is Kigurumi. Lee Duckworth practicing the noble art of Kigurumi down here. That's what this says. My god, that's terrifying. Why would you ever, like, like, I'm sorry, there's a difference between this and cosplay. I'm sorry, there's a difference between dressing up as Iron Man and essentially the anime version of Buffalo Bill. Like, yeah, there's a- I don't know. This is- this is fucking frightening. This is not- this is not really something that should just be- Oh, this is cool, this is fine. You know, that's just Bill, he just likes the anime mask. Like, no, this is terrifying. This is not- This- we can't just- we're not- I'm not about to just accept this and pretend that this is like- just fine. This is ridiculous. People putting this in cosplay magazines. Like, no. No, shun this. It's got an F Evanescence poster. Like, there's this couldn't get worse. This could not get worse. No, never mind. It got worse. Okay, well, that's that video. Um, now, what's great here, actually, I gotta show it again. This is a- this is not even a- this is not even this person's body. The whole thing is like a body suit that they're wearing. Well, that's dedication, I guess. Uh, you know, I guess whatever ma You know, it's like, whatever makes you happy, but you put it out there, I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna have my opinions about it. You- you don't want- you want to just do- do your fucking anime mask bullshit and- and make your videos, then you know what? You better set them to private, cause- cause fucking hell, man, this is, uh, this is notable, that's all I'm saying. Uh, so... Let's see. We got five bucks from Omar Martinez. You still owe me back child support, Dad. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You're not going to be getting it anytime soon. And then two bucks from Just Larm. Pinomorphs. Uh, you know, I couldn't agree more. Uh, that, I guess, is going to do it for the stream. I don't need to read Super Chats because I've been reading them throughout. Uh, I had a few things to show you. I'm probably not going to be live again later tonight. I might stream tomorrow, but probably not. And, uh, you know, it might be a few days, uh, you know, take a little break, but uh, we'll, we'll see some more garbage. I may go live later. I don't know. We're going to be doing the Oscars. It depends how much I care. You know, I might be watching it and like, hey, I've never seen any of these movies except for fucking everything everywhere. Uh, and I might just... I might just get bored of that and decide to do, like, a late-night stream, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, uh, penis. Happy Sunday. Happy early Sunday stream. Take it easy. Oh, we got $20 from Hatain. Love you, bro. Been recently re-watching your old streams from 2020. Specifically, the Control-Alt-Delete stuff and Nostalgia Critic cringe. Uh, good times and keep up the work, the good work, my beloved discount medicare. Uh, see, you had me going in the, for the first half there, you know. I don't, I don't, I never like the discount medicare thing because people say that as, they think it, they think that they think it as a joke or something, but then, but then it's always that thing where it's like, wait a minute, you're not the YouTuber that I thought you were that you aren't, but I thought, like, <laughs> 
people realize that I'm actually an individual and they're like, oh, oh, I thought this guy was just a ripoff of, oh, shit. Well, never mind. I don't like this guy. He's got his own thing. Fuck that. You know, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of an annoying comparison, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, that'll do it. Thank you, everybody. This has been an enjoyable one. Uh, I, I hope to see y'all again. Uh, maybe the next stream that I do, I'll whip out the cat food and the dog food. Uh, take it easy.